Welcome back, everyone. Man, I've been driving this car a whole lot lately. It's been a ton of fun. So I'm pretty sure most of you guys have uh, seen, if you don't follow me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram right now, 4.6 Chris. Uh, car got a new street set up so yeah, that's not what this video is about we're gonna go pick up the package right now so stay tuned we're about to go pick up the package that this car has been missing for the longest time but yeah we've got a new street set up on the car and I uh, just made a post about it on Instagram that uh, I'm so glad that I kept this thing street man throw this window up a little bit throw the lighting off um, I'm so glad I kept this thing street, man. There have been so many times where I've almost ripped the AC out, ripped the heater out, put Kirkies in it, and you guys can see we got the beautiful Recaros in here. Um, it doesn't have sway bars, but that really doesn't affect the, uh, the driving aspect of it, you know, just driving the car around. But uh, I'm really happy I kept this thing street, man, because I just put a street setup back on it, and I've been enjoying the car so much and uh, I've forgotten how fun it is just to drive this car around. You know what I mean? Just to drive the car around, you know, go run errands in the car and what a street car does, you know what I mean? Um, I guess it was because I was just subconsciously thinking about wearing the tread out on the slicks. The racing tires aren't ex they aren't uh they are expensive they're not inexpensive so i guess it was my subconscious so i would never take the car far man i've been driving this car all around the city lately and uh i've just been enjoying it man so uh real quick guys while we're on the way to pick up this package from from dad's house uh he got something for me for my birthday my birthday just passed it was on june 4th and uh I appreciate it. The old man still gets me stuff for my birthday. I just turned 24 years old, and uh, my old man got me something for the car that I've been I've been needing for the car, and uh, I'm excited to show you guys. So before we go over there and do that, please drop a like. Drop a like for your boy. Staying on the grind, man. Posting videos every single Tuesday. Uh, drop a like, man. It helps the channel out a ton. And stay till the end of the video. We got something nice to show you guys at the end of the video. Stay tuned, watch the whole video, it helps the channel out a ton. And uh, with that being said, I have some things I wanted to talk about. So yeah guys, I just, I kind of wanted to talk about, um, you know, my goals and my aspirations in life. I've been, uh, I don't really, I'm not trying to keep my job or anything like what I do for a living, you know, like under wraps or nothing. I've been working in the oil field these past couple of months and uh, it was a big pay increase for me. But uh, I'm spending a lot more time away from home, but I do have more time at home if that makes sense. Um, but with that, it comes to more money. So, um, you know, I like it. I enjoy what I do. But this, this right here is really what I enjoy doing. And I've kind, of, I've kind of lost sight of that. And I kind of, you know, thought about going back to school and, you know, I'm 24 years old, so I'm trying to figure out, you know, what's next for my life. And um, I don't want to give this up. You know what I mean? This is my goal. This is why I started out doing this. I didn't start out doing this because I wanted to make money from it, because I wanted to be some billion dollar YouTuber. I started doing it because it was fun and I've been watching YouTube my whole life and it's just been something that I've always thought about doing, you know what I mean? So now that the channel's monetized and we're bringing in a couple thousand views a video and you guys love it, you know what I mean? And thank you guys so much for all the encouraging comments all the time. It really keeps me going, it truly does. Um, I don't want to give up on the fact that I can do this thing as a job one day. Uh, 
you know the homie Derek Barron production. I throw shots at him sometimes, but he's a homie. And I talk to him. I talk to him sometimes, and uh, I'm kind of just like, you know, what I mean, he's living the dream, man. He's making YouTube videos for a living. He has awesome cars. He just got freaking uh, married. Congrats, by the way, bro. Uh, and he's just living the life, man. Like living the dream. And that's not to say that I can't do it. You know what I mean? That I've kind of lost sight of my goals and what I was trying to do and I'm like you know what I mean this ain't for everyone but I don't see why I couldn't go far doing this you know what I mean so with that being said guys I'm gonna be trying to put out the best content that I can uh, whatever I can and I'm gonna try you know we're, we're sticking to the schedule every single Tuesday I'm dropping a video no matter what and I'm gone two weeks at a time from work and I'm just racking up these videos while I'm at home I'm racking up these videos so you guys have something to watch while I'm away from while I'm away at work so just understand the grind understand the understand the hustle because I'm wanting to do this thing man and I'm wanting to accomplish my goals of one day doing this thing full-time and one day um, feeling like I never have to work another day in my life because that's you know that's what it is for me you know what I mean the feeling of waking up every day doing what I love and not it not feeling like work you know what I mean if I could do this every single day and it pay the bills even if I made less money than my day job but it paid the bills bro my life would be complete you know what I mean so uh, we just pulled up the dads let me get this part and we're gonna head back to the house show you guys what we got I'm excited, man. It's something that's gonna complete the interior of this car. Let's go get it. All right, boys. It fit in the trunk. Let's go back to the studio and get this thing installed. So if you guys can't tell, I'll tell y'all right now, without doing a whole unboxing and all that other crap. It is a rear seat delete. And that's something that this car has been needing, man. Uh, one of the main reasons why I waited on it and I never did it was one, because um, I would always use me looking back at the bottle to view the gauge. And now, thanks to Nitrous Express, we have an analog gauge up here, which you guys haven't seen that, I'll post up a video up here. And uh, that's the video we did, it's an analog gauge slash heater controller it's pretty cool but now we don't need to see the bottle so we clean up the back seat clean up the interior of the car and uh, I think it'll make the interior look a lot good with the Recaro's and everything like that the uh, rear seat delete being black This car looks out of the ordinary from the cars that are out here. And I'm so glad, dude, that I did not sell this car and go get a Coyote car. Not throwing shade on anyone that has done that. But I like standing out, you know what I mean? I like looking different. I don't like being the same white sheep as everyone else, you know what I mean? I like being the black sheep. Uh, but yeah, I catch a lot of people staring at the car. And I'm not like an attention whore or anything like that, but I also, you know, appreciate everyone looking at the car like, man, that's an old car. I wonder what year that car is. You know what I mean? For people that aren't Mustang heads and don't know about the SM95. It looks different, and I like that. And for this thing to have a coyote motor here soon, yeah, it's going to be freaking sweet. Alright guys, so just starting off, this is what I'm worried about. Uh, this is our torque box reinforcements right here. I'm worried about the part that goes up here. And I'm assuming we're going to use these bolts. Uh, this is for the rear seats. And if anyone wants my old seats that were in the car, I still got them. If anyone needs them, hit me up. I got the rear seats are pretty mint. Passenger seats in good condition. The driver's seat has a small tear in it. 
but uh yeah that's what I was concerned with these bolts sticking out they might actually hit so uh let's try it out real quick look at that it freaking clears perfect but I don't want to leave it just hanging like that so we're probably gonna put the bolts in it but look at that dude and it is just velcro I mean it is pretty cheap for how much pops paid for it wouldn't recommend it so I'm not gonna link it for you guys but it's really expensive a lot of people told me I can make it myself but I don't want to waste time doing that and pops thought I needed it so he got it for me but there's just velcro here let me get the bottom pieces and throw it on All right, boys, so it's in. You know, don't need instructions or anything like that. It's pretty simple. Uh, I do appreciate the fact that it came with, you guys can't really see, but from the bottom, um, it has holes that are pre-drilled, but with the fabric on top, so it gives you the option of wanting to. But check out this big old gap right here. I don't like that, how not tight that is. I also don't like the fact that this thing is kind of at an angle. If you can tell but it's kind of at an angle but that is because of my torque box reinforcement so that's why I put the bolts up here that way it could be somewhat sturdy but I'll show you guys from the trunk it is hitting the torque box reinforcements there and there and I could just trim the bolts but I think it would still hit the nuts on top so I'm really not gonna worry about it too much but yeah, you guys can see it's ABS plastic in the back and then it has the carpet on top. But yeah, the seats in the back. I'm definitely liking it, how it looks. Definitely cleans up the in-car footage. That way you can't see the whole trunk of the car you know what I mean kind of just fills in that space a little bit now what I have paid 250 close to $300 for this no way if it came in the mail I would have sent it right back um, but like I said most of it most of the issue I believe is from my torque box reinforcements and I'm not gonna mess with it it's fine how it is the main reason I got this was one I was tired of seeing the whole trunk in the car uh, two, I kind of needed to pass tech inspection at the track. That way I don't have to drill a big ass hole in the trunk for the blowdown tube on the nitrous bottle. Um, I need something that blocks the nitrous gas from coming forward. So the last time I went, I had to tape up some cardboard boxes and stuff like that. So this should pass tech instead of cardboard boxes. So yeah, man, it was uh, pretty simple, easy, quick, efficient install. Um, we're gonna pull up to the spot real quick and I'm gonna show you guys the salines the new street setup and then uh, we'll wrap up this video guys alright guys here she is excuse my shadow um, I believe I mean they're 18's I bought them off of supposedly a subscriber uh, I kinda got screwed on the deal but more on that um, fronts are 18 by 9 I believe so and the rears are 18 by 10 salines and I've been getting so many compliments on the car man the only thing that's bothering me is this damn wheel gap and look at that that's how much there is it's a 285 35 18 um, I've had the same set of lowering springs don't ask me they were on the car when I got the car um, same set of lowering springs and when I had 305 35 18 it filled out the fender gap a lot more and I've never had, I guess, just a regular street tire because this is a NT05. And man, let me tell you, it, it it brings me joy that at least the NA2 valve can spin these tires. Because if I just nailed it in first gear, I'm spinning, spinning, spinning. I'll shift it into second and I'll spin all the way into third gear if I don't pedal the car. And that's on an NT05. So <laughs> that makes me happy. Uh, the front is 245, 4018s. And yeah, they look good. Uh, they're decent. I got them for like 600 bucks, wheels and tires. 
So I thought they were a good deal. I'm glad I didn't pay what he was asking because he was asking 750 and I'll, I'll post up the pictures. But when I came home from work, after being at work for two weeks, this tire, this wheel, was sitting on the ground. Started spraying down the valve stem, started spraying down the whole wheel, and on the inside of the wheel, looks like he curbed it and cracked the wheel, and it looks like he had someone to repair it. And I asked him about it, and he said that this car sat on these wheels for four months, and never leaked air, which I think is complete bull crap because this car was sitting on the ground in two weeks, so he obviously knew they were leaking. Um, I didn't ask for my money back, didn't throw a fit, uh, it's whatever. That's pretty much one of the reasons why I didn't make a video on the new street setup. So here it is, this is the new street setup. I got the wheel repaired uh, correctly and they fixed the curb rash where he nailed the curb, you can't really tell anymore. They fixed it all the way around the wheel and uh, yeah, they look great. I just I want to get a taller sidewall in the back that way it doesn't look like a huge uh, wheel gap in the back but it still looks decent doesn't look bad but yeah man let me know what you guys think about the uh, rear seat delete I really like it it uh, compliments the, compliments the car well yeah man looks good compliments the car as well and I don't hate the black and brown, man. I really don't. A lot of people are telling me I need to get all black interior. I don't hate it. Honestly. It doesn't look too bad. But yeah. That's the car, man. Ever since I put the salines back on the car, or street setup, I should say, I've been driving the car a lot more. And uh, this car is just, you know, bringing me back to my roots on when I first got the car. And this was actually my daily driver. And, um, you know, I'm just driving the car a lot more. and driving it around town, you know, pulling up to my friend's shops and stuff like that, and just driving it everywhere and really enjoying the car for what it is. And I'm glad I never ripped the AC out, never ripped the heater core out, didn't put Kirkies in it. I'm glad I put those Recaros in there because it's a dream to drive with those. Um, it looks good, man. And with that being said, we should be heading back to the track here soon. Um, that was the last thing on the list. I really, I just needed to get a rear seat delete. I needed to get a battery hold down. I did that, rear seat delete check. And I also needed to get a fire suit because that was one thing San Antonio uh, Motorplex, which they closed down. They told me I needed one for running nitrous, which I don't know if you know that's correct. But I went and got one anyway, so I got a fire jacket. My girl got me that for my birthday as well. So we're pretty much ready, man. We got suspension, new tire on the back of 26. And uh, yeah, man, let's go uh, run some 11s in this thing. And uh, once we do that, we're ready for this coyote swap, man. I already got the... I already got the motor, uh, pulled a trigger on a motor. So that's more to come. I'll be showing you guys that whenever I take delivery of it. It's at a buddy's house of mine right now. Uh, so yeah, that's the car, man. It looks good. Looks really good. I think Salines is one of the best looking wheels on these cars. And I'm happy with it, man. I just, I enjoy the car so much now, dude. You guys, you guys don't understand. And with that being said, if you guys know anyone that has a hookup on tires, who could send me tires, Corpus Christi, Texas, 78414. Let me know. Let me know what y'all could do for me on getting a nicer tire in the rear. It don't gotta be a drag radio. I got slicks, I got a whole another set of wheels. It could be a summer tire, snow tire, I don't give a damn. As long as it drives good and it fills out that fender gap, I'll be happy. Front tires are all right. I don't really need to replace those now. I've been thinking about getting a taller tire on there too because it feels like the wheel's sitting on the ground, but I kind of like the way it looks in the front. The rear is just way too, way too high. So yeah, let me know. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up down below, man. I greatly appreciate it. It helps out the channel a ton. You guys don't even understand. Hit that subscribe button down below if you guys are new. Tons of content to come. And I do have a bunch of tools that I bought, man, that I'm gonna be reviewing. And I changed it from Tool Tuesday to Tool Thursday because these videos drop on Tuesday. And I wanna give you guys some extra content during the week and uh, do a Tool Thursday as a bonus to our regular videos on Tuesday. So be on the lookout for that. We will have a new video in two days on Thursday. So uh, appreciate you guys so much, man. And, you know, thanks for, you know, all the continued support over the years and, you know, all the nice comments and everything like that, man. I, I greatly appreciate everything. And with that being said, guys, here's today's advice. Don't give up on your dreams, man. And don't think that your dreams are too far-fetched because anything, anything, anything you put your mind to, 
they will come true, man. As, as long as you hustle, as long as you grind, time will tell. If I do this YouTube thing for 10 plus, 10 plus years, it's like almost a guaranteed fact, you know what I mean, that we will succeed. We will be able to do this thing as a full-time job and we will be able to do it. You know what I mean? It's just I'm kind of focused on now and trying to get this thing done now and trying to blow up fast and you know that's that, longevity doesn't happen like that. You know what I mean? There's plenty of guys out there that blew up on a couple videos. They have 100,000 subscribers and everything like that and they're getting the same amount of views as me now. You know what I mean? It died down. Here we're slowly building the channel up, slowly getting guys on and slowly building an audience and those guys, you guys are sticking with the channel and you guys are watching every single video and I appreciate that more you know than a fly by night thing so um, you know you guys stick with your dreams do what you guys want to do aim for something that you are gonna wake up every single morning and be happy to go to work be happy to make some money and uh, you know provide for your family that's what that's what my goal is now man it's not making the most money in the world it's not I'm just trying to make myself happy and make me more of a make me more relaxed you know what I mean and dude if I could do this every single day That'd be nuts. And we're going to come back to this video, guys. Once once it happens, I'm going to tell I'm going to show you guys that we can do it. And I know we can do it. It's just a matter of time. We'll see you guys soon, man. It's your boy 4.6 Chris. Stay tuned. We have a ton of videos on the way. See you guys on the next one. It's your boy 4.6 Chris. Peace out, man.